Hey guys, Blake here with the Shorey team over at World Impact Real Estate. Hope everyone's doing great today. But today I want to talk about how to price property in today's market and get top dollar for that property in the shortest amount of time possible. So first off, let's talk about pricing your home in today's market. That's a pretty vague statement. So what I mean is, if you want to sell your home for X amount, then how much do you list it for? And in today's market, we're about a 5% spread and that's it guys. So for easy math, if you wanted to uh, sell your home for $100,000, then you would list it at 105. Back in 2007, we were at a 15% spread. So you would have listed your property at 115,000 just to get the same results. Now, why do you think the market has changed in the amount of spread needed? The answer is knowledge and technology. Now, all of these third-party hosting sites, Truly and Zillow, and a lot of other ones, but the main ones are Truly and Zillow, make it very easy nowadays for buyers to go online, see how much you bought the property for, when you bought the property, and all parties involved in the purchase. And a report was just done that 96% of buyers went on either Truly or Zillow before ever calling an agent about that property. So buyers nowadays have a pretty good idea of how much they want to spend on a property before they ever go view the property or call an agent about that property. And that's the biggest reason we've gone down from a 15% margin all the way down to about a 5% because nowadays buyers have a very good idea of what they want to spend on property. All right guys, let's assume the buyers already know everything about the property and whatnot. So how do you get top dollar in the shortest amount of time possible? Hopefully under 30 days. Number one, we've already gone over it. Do not list your property above the 5% mark. You're going to miss real buyers and the longer you sit on the market, the general public's view of the home's value and interest go down. So the same buyer is willing to pay more for the same home that has been on a market 20 days versus the home that's been on the market for 120 days. Another thing is declutter the home. Every closet should only be about 50% full and organized. And the mentality is when a buyer walks in and views the closets and whatnot, if they see a closet that's 50% full, their mentality is, okay, I have a little more stuff than this, so I think I can make this work, versus seeing a closet that is 100% full and them saying, wow, I actually have more stuff than these people do, this just simply won't work, and that's not good. Alright, uh, another thing I would like to cover are the countertops, mainly referring to the kitchen and bathroom, or what I like to call the selling rooms. Now, when I show property, the main thing I noticed was the fact that a lot of homes' kitchen and bathroom countertops were very cluttered and unorganized, and all the buyers made the same comment. Wow, they have a lot of stuff. Instead of, wow, they have a lot of counter space, this is really nice. Now, this has nothing to do with the home itself, just how the home shows. And that actually plays a bigger part than you actually may think. Another thing I would like to talk about is um, getting your home up to par with the competition without breaking the bank. And some good places to start is, uh, number one, landscaping. This is going to be the first thing that the buyers see when they come to view the house. So on top of my list is landscaping. For every dollar you spend, you should receive about three back in the selling process. If your landscaping is on point and is really nice, then let's move on to the inside. Paint. Paint by far is going to earn you the most money back. For every dollar you spend, you're going to get $5 back in the cell. So definitely start with paint. Now, when picking out paint colors, pick out neutral, earth tone, very mellow, calm colors. Don't pick out a bright color because you like it. Um, we're trying to broaden the market and not narrow it down to people that only like bright orange walls. We're trying to broaden our market. Another thing is um, fixtures. Uh, ceiling fans, lighting fixtures, and knobs. Um, these can be your very cost effective as well. You have an old dated room, you replace the ceiling fan, and now it looks up to date. Um, knobs. You might not necessarily have to replace the whole cabinet itself. Just go get some nice uh, little knobs. Another thing is um, stainless steel appliances. If your home does not have stainless steel appliances, a report was done and said if you have one stainless appliance in the kitchen, 
Um, it helps buyers imagine how it would look with all stainless steel appliances and it gives a better selling appeal. So I suggest um, go get a stainless steel microwave. Put up a nice stainless steel microwave to give the buyer an idea of what the kitchen would look like with all stainless steel appliances and that actually goes a long way. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions on how to get your property uh, sold for top dollar and maybe some ideas of what you need to do to your property in order for that to happen, you know, please call me, email me, text me or anything and uh, I'll stop by and kind of give you some, some suggestions on what you should do uh, in order for that to happen. So I uh, look forward to that and you guys have a great day.